uh, the relationship between Penn State and St. Joe's is unique in the, in the sense that having academic personnel in a community site brings best of both worlds together. Uh, the patients are allowed to have their care or can have their care here from start to, to, to finish, uh, but they have the academic backup, the academic input, the academic resources of a place like Penn State Hershey. It allows Berks County to, ex to have that degree of uh, confidence in their physicians, in the medical uh, community that they've um, embraced and come into, um, and know that they're getting the best care and the best opinions uh, possible. We, we like to approach um, physician interactions from a different, several different perspectives. The first perspective is you know, when a patient gets referred to us, we like to, get the page, we'd like to have the patients be seen as quick as possible. No one wants to sit around with a diagnosis of cancer waiting to get in to see their oncologist. So we try to get patients in literally within 24 to 48 hours, try to get them in more frequently, 24 than 48 simply because, again, no one wants to sit around with that diagnosis or that concern, that scare, uh, for more than, a, you know, more than they can tolerate. And I, I, I think getting patients in quickly is important. Getting information back out to all the referring physicians is important, not only the primary care physician, but all the doctors that involve, uh, the lung doctors, the GI doctors, everyone that's involved needs to be informed about what the decisions are, what the diagnosis are, when treatment changes, when people are finished with treatment, all the important points that, that require communication need to be communicated. Patients complain about physician communication. This is our answer to help prevent that. Getting letters out, getting notes out, getting information disseminated quickly after decisions have been made and patients have been seen is critical. And the third way uh, that we see um, communication with patients is communicating with our colleagues at Hershey. It's nothing for me to pick up the phone and call one of my uh, one of my GI colleagues who specialize in GI cancer and say look I've got this patient here's what's going on here's what I think what do you think and they tell me what they think we can get rapid opinions kind of off-the-cuff opinions very quickly to help direct therapy not to mention it does facilitate us getting patients down to Penn State for you know the more tertiary kind of things the more university academic kind of stuff the transplants the stereotactic radiation the things that we don't that aren't done in the community, but are done at a place like Hershey, that kind of communication allows rapid transfer and seamless transfer to one institution and then back to the other. One of the benefits to having the affiliation with Penn State is the weekly input we receive from the academic people and, we, and our communications with the people at Penn State. Uh, being, being part of Penn State, being one of Penn State, allows several things. One, it allows, for example, radiation oncology. Every patient that comes in and, gets it and is getting a new treatment or a new patient to the cancer center who's getting radiation therapy, their treatment plan is reviewed every Friday by all the radiation oncologists at Penn State down at Hershey, along with Dr. Twonklin, who's the radiation oncologist here. So every Friday, new patients, their treatments from start to finish, you know, not just now, but six, seven, eight weeks now, that's all planned. It's all decided, it's all reviewed, and people are very uh, interactive in that process to make sure the patient gets the best care possible. Medical oncology, we, every Thursday we have grand rounds, new topics, topics uh, uh, where the fields are changing, new treatments, new diagnoses, all of these things are discussed in what's called grand rounds. And all the, all the hematology oncology physicians participate in the grand rounds. In addition, um, there are faculty meetings and having that easy access to pick up a phone and make contact with the people down at Penn State, the rapid referrals that we can generate all go to improve patient care and improve patient confidence in the type of care and the expertise of the care they can expect out of uh, St. Joe's up here in Berks County. You know, one of the, the key components to medical oncology is um, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy can be emotionally traumatic and, and physically it can be somewhat demanding. Having, it, having the chemotherapy administration in a good, caring, uh, pleasant environment is critical. The infusion center that, uh, has been, that was opened up in, at St. Joe's uh, for that purpose is a, is a beautiful facility. It overlooks you know, the hills and the mountains. It's got a very scenic view. 
the patients uh, that come in develop a social structure among themselves. They know each other, they talk to each other, um, and the nurses up there are incredibly caring and kind of support that process. They also act as a, uh, a fund of information so that patients, when they have questions, um, they know who to go to. The nurses will provide them information, will provide them emotional support, the patients will provide each other emotional support, and it really is a, is really a great asset to the community to have that center uh, located here at St. Joe's.